Hello class, we are doing a really, really basic introduction to logarithms here. I'm just going to tell you what the notation is and we're going to talk about what is going on there. This says log base b of x equals y. That's how you read that and what it actually means is for, oh no, this isn't an example yet, hold on, it means b <laughs> raised to the y power is x, okay? So, which I wrote here in notation, but I just wanted you to have it in words also. So let's go ahead and do an example of a basic logarithm and then see what happens there. Let's do log base 4 of 16 and try to figure out what that is. So this is asking you for raised to what? That's a question mark. I don't know if you can tell that. Is 16. I guess I should have put an is, that's usually easier. But anyway, so you're looking for what power? So, can you guys tell me what power you raise 4 to to get 16? 2. Awesome. That was Terrence, you guys, in case you're wondering. Okay, so it's 2. So, we know that 4 to the 2 is 16. So, logarithms are just basically a different way of looking at exponents. All right, oh, and you guys don't like my 16s because they look like Bs. I'm trying to make my 6s look like actual 6s. Hope that makes you guys happy. Okay, so let's do another one really quickly. All right, here's our next question. I'm going to ask Terrence how to translate this into easier language. Terrence, what is this really asking us? 5 raised to what power is 125? 5 raised to what power? That's a question mark is 125. And Terrence, what what would you raise? 5 times 5 times 5? Is that is that right? Yes. Yeah, okay. So 5 to the what power? 3. Okay, so 5 to the third power is 125. Okay, and for a lot of people, they have to go over here and say, because 5, okay, I'm wrong colors. 5, that's a 5, cubed, equals 5 times 5 times 5 equals 125 and a smiley face. Okay, so let's do one more really basic one. Maybe I'll make Terrence write it. We'll see. I'll write the question and maybe I'll make him write the answer. Log, let's do base 3 this time of, um, let's just do something really basic. Um, of 9. Log base 3 of 9, what is that? Since 3 squared is equal to 9, log base 3 is 2. All right, when we're doing this without calculators, which I know you all hate, um, we're going to have relatively small numbers. So this time we're doing log base 2 of 32, which means, as we know, 2 to what power, question mark, is 32. Well, some of you I know know that in head, but there's only like 10 of you out of 90 that know this in your head, and it's probably the IT people, because you guys are supposed to do stuff in binary, so this might be an advantage for you guys if we do base 2. So most of us have to think and write it down. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32, yay, we're there, and how many of them are there? There's 5. So we know that 2 to the 5th equals 32. So we know that log base 2 of 32 is 5, because that's the exponent. So this is just a backwards way of doing exponents. Next, we're going to do some special logs, and this really is just a basic thing. We're going to do rules, and 
Okay, first we're going to do a fractional one and then we'll get to more special ones. So this says 4 raised to what power? This time I'm going to use a box instead of a question mark so it doesn't look as funny. Is 1 over 64. Can you tell me one thing that we're going to know about our answer because the 64 is in the denominator? What are we going to know about what's, what needs to go here? It needs to be what? Negative. Okay, right. It's a negative exponent because it's in the denominator. Now we got to do the thinking thing we did before. We know it's going to, it's 1 over 4 times 4 is, is what is that, Shiva? 16. Okay, and then times 4 again. Terrence, help me out. 64. All right, because you know I'm horrible at this math stuff. Okay, so <laughs> 4 to the third, but it's on the bottom, therefore it is what, everybody? Negative. Woo! Okay, so there's three of them. They're on the bottom. So that means in here goes a negative three. But that's old school how we did exponents before. Now with logarithms, it's going to go here. So let's do one more fractional one. There won't really be very many of these. Um, and then we'll move on. So, um, yeah, let me do... Okay, so this is the last one we're going to do with fractions because really you would do something else with fractions, but I want you to just get the basic concept of logs for right now. So this says 5 raised to what power is 1 25th? So we know that it's going to be negative because it's in the denominator, and it's just a 2 because 5 to the negative 2, I can't change pens this fast, equals 1 over five times five, which is one over 25. So we just, like over here is kind of our checking space and workspace. So now let's move on to some special logs that you're going to use now and then in class and you need to know what they mean. So special logs, there's a couple of them. The one you'll see the most often that's on your calculator is log base 10. And base 10 is is our number system. That's that's how we count. So log base 10 of say a thousand is 10 times 10 times 10. So that's three, right? Okay, but log base 10 is so special and so commonly used because that's what you use for magnitude that um, it has its own thing on your calculator, which you're not going to be allowed to use for the quiz on this. Um, and it's just log. It's big log because it's the most important log. So log of 1,000 equals 3. Log of, let's do 10,000 this time. How many tens do we need to get 10,000? Four. All right, awesome. Um, and then we'll do one kind of like we did a little while ago. Let's do log of 1 over, let's just do 100 this time. So this time it's going to be what? Negative. Negative, and it's just a 2. So negative 2. Let me box all my answers so that my mean teacher doesn't take off points. Um, and just so log 10 is the same thing as this big log. And then the other special log that we're going to talk about is is for E. And E is something, depending on what semester it is, that we've already talked about in class or we're about to. So there's this beautiful, wonderful number E that I could probably talk about for like, I don't know, five years? Shiva, you think five years before I get bored with it? Yeah. E is pretty much my favorite number in the whole universe. So log E, and E is just a number. E is a number that's approximately equal to 2.72, and it's just this growth constant that we either talked about or will talk about. So log base E asks you what power E is to, which is, it sounds really weird depending on how much we've talked about E, but um, if you had something like E to the fourth, the question would be, E raised to what power is e to the fourth? So it's four. Like it's it sounds kind of weird. Um, we're gonna do just a couple of these, but let me first tell you that log base e is the natural log ln because 
lots of things in nature grow with this growth constant. So ln is the same thing as log base e. So let's do ln of e to the 7. This asks e to what power is e to the 7? So what do we get, Terrence? 7. Okay, so really this is like one of those ones that when you miss it on the quiz you feel really silly later. Now let's do two that require you to think some. ln of 1 says e raised to what power is 1? So e is just a number and what power do we need to raise things to for it to be equal to 1? 0. Alright, so e to the what equals 1, well that what is a 0 because anything raised to the 0 power is 1, which we talked about way back when we did exponents. The other one that we should probably know is ln of e. Hmm, this says e raised to what power is e. So what's that going to be? Uh, I think it's going to be 1. Yeah, yeah, because it's just one, it's that invisible thing. So now I can use red. You know how I use red for invisible in class? E to the one equals E. You can't even tell that's red. So there we go. I think that's enough basics on logarithms. Make sure you practice a couple of these and a couple in the book before you come to class next time because there might be a pop quiz. Okay, the last thing I need to do is even though I know that half the class doesn't see graphically, I, I have to draw the graph because there are many of you that do. Here's our e to the x, which we may or may not have talked about in class yet. And we were talking about how e to the 0 equals 1. So this point right here is 0, 1. And then ln x, the logarithm, is just the inverse function of e to the x because a logarithm is the inverse of an exponential function. So I'm going to go ahead and draw um, ln x really quickly. It's not like the most beautiful picture of ln x ever. And actually that's actually totally, well, it's fine. Okay, close enough for today. So this point right here is 1, 0. We'll talk more about these in class um, and hopefully you'll, you'll have a, a great appreciation for logarithms. All right, thanks.